Hi, good evening. Welcome to 1010 Prayer Online. This week is going to be the last week that we will I will be sharing with you on the, uh, our prayer time together. But I think by now, you have already really got into the whole uh, routine or even the discipline of building a prayer altar. So for this week, I wanted to really focus on just a few thoughts that will strengthen our walk with the Lord. Amen. So first of all, turn with me to Psalm 1. Psalm 1. And Psalm 1 is a wonderful psalm because it says, Blessed is the man. So it's the key to true blessedness. All right, so turn with me to Psalm 1 and I'm going to read the whole of Psalm 1. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked or stand in the way of sinners or sit in the seat of the mockers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water which yields its fruit in season, whose leaf does not wither and whatever he does prospers. Not so the wicked, they are like shaft that the wind blows away, therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. This psalm is really, I would call it a psalm that we can lean on to really understand how to build our life as we move forward in our relationship with the Lord. What is it that will allow God to bless us? What will enable God to even cause us to flourish no matter what the season is? And I like this psalm in particular because it talks about, look at verse, look at verse 3. What we want to be is like this tree that yields its fruit in season, whose leaf does not wither, and whatever he does prospers. Now, when we talk about prosper, it's not just money, but it's prospering in his spirit, he's prospering in his soul, he's contented, he's fulfilled. And not only that, his leaf never withers. Even in, that means when everybody around him is withering, he's still blooming and he's bearing fruit. Bearing fruit is a very important part of our lives. It means that we are fruitful. Whatever we do has results. And that's what blessedness is about. Blessedness in the Bible is not just having blessings. It's a condition of blessedness where we are fruit-bearing. We have a sense of fulfillment. Our souls are contented. It's not a dry. And the, our, our, what, our, the posture of our heart is one of greenness, if you know what I mean. It's not dry. It's not, it's not weary, no matter what happens. Now, what's the key to that? It says, blessed is the man who delights in the law of the Lord and in his law he meditates day and night. So verse 2 is the key. This man spends his time meditating on the, on the word of God. Not just the laws, the Bible, the word of God. What is the word meditate? Meditate is that after you have read the word, you chew over it and you allow the word to simmer through your thoughts and your mind and it becomes a part of you. It's not just read and then that's it, but read and to assimilate. And as you assimilate, certain truths come into your spirit and now these truths are activated in real life. And that is why this man is like a tree planted by the rivers. And as he's planted by this river, I'm reminded of the spring of living water. Do you remember that? that he's drawing from the fountain of life. And as he draws from the fountain of life, which is the word of God, he now finds the peace, the wisdom, the, I would say, the ability to make decisions, the ability to even be at peace when quarrels come and not to enter into strife. And because of that, this man will surely prosper. If he doesn't, what happens to people who truly don't have the source of what I call input. Actually, they have to resort to counsel from ungodly men sometimes. They may have to resort to hearing what others say and the opinions of others. And what the Bible is telling us, what the Psalm is telling us, though some of our friends will give very good opinions and they will give us good counsel, but when we sift it through, 
with the word of God, actually we will have what is called good, real, wise counsel. So the so I just want to end by saying, you know, as you build your prayer altars, God is longing. God is longing to feed our soul. He's longing to lead us into green pastures. He's longing to still us in times of storm. He's longing to lead us in the path of righteousness. And the good news is this, the Lord watches over the way of the righteous. And that is how blessedness will come to us. Amen. Yeah, this is a beautiful sound. And even as we, you know, as we end this whole week, I thought it's good to remember, learn to memorize this psalm because when you're in a dilemma of whose counsel to seek, you should remember this psalm. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will guide you how to make the right decisions. Amen. So God bless you. Come, let's pray together. Heavenly Father, as we go out there and there's so many decisions to make concerning life, your desire is always to bless us never to cause us ruin or harm or danger. And Lord, today we are reminded, blessed is the man whose delight is in the law of the Lord. And the law of the Lord, does he meditate, ruminate, chew over day and night. Surely, as we do that, we will be like a tree planted by the waters, receiving counsel from you, having wisdom, having a steady heart, being at peace, O Lord God. Thank you so much, Lord. Father, help us to cultivate this discipline of reading your word, of meditating on it, of allowing the word to process us. And Lord, I believe as we do that, more and more, we will be surprised at the blessedness that flows from our Father God to us. Father, we totally believe you long to bless us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for spending tonight with me. Continue to pray for one another and ask God to show us what true blessedness is. And just read through someone and you can even memorize it. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs>